So you're thinking about buying a home in Berkeley, California, but you wanna know the good, the bad, the pros and the cons, the yin and the yang, and everything that's going on in Berkeley before you actually make that decision. And that's what we're gonna be discussing today, the pros and cons of living in Berkeley, California. Now, Berkeley is just north of Oakland, about 15 minutes and 25 minutes to San Francisco. It has a population of around 118,000 people. The population hasn't changed much as there isn't any new land for housing to be built, but it's always a top pick for those that can afford to be living here. In this video, we're gonna cover everything that's going on in Berkeley, so that way you can get a great idea if it may be a good fit for you, and we're gonna get into it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel, you wanna know everything there is about living in the Bay Area in cities like Berkeley, make sure to subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market here in the Bay Area. My name is Spencer Sue, your favorite Bay Area real estate agent, and we get calls, texts, emails, every day and we love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. Happy to help you make that smooth move to the Bay Area. All right, so what are the good things about living in Berkeley? That's what we're gonna start off with today. Number one, natural beauty. The city is surrounded by stunning natural landscapes. It offers easy access to parks, hiking trails and the beautiful Berkeley Hills. Residents can enjoy outdoor activities and breathtaking views as they do that. And breathtaking views on the many trails here. Because of the mature trees and older homes, there is a level of charm for this city that very few places have. Homes are not built in masses, so as you walk down the streets, you're gonna get a great feeling of uniqueness. Number two, cultural diversity, art, and entertainment. Berkeley is known for its diversity and inclusivity. It celebrates different cultures, languages, and perspectives. The city hosts numerous cultural events, festivals, and ethnic cuisines, offering a rich tapestry of experiences. Here's a breakdown of the population from the most recent US Census Bureau. 53% are white, 20% are Asian, 12% are Hispanic, 7.5% are African-Americans. With this great mix of culture, you have no shortage of fantastic places to eat. Did you know that in this city alone, you have at least six main strips to go for local restaurants and shops? You have Telegraph Avenue, which is right next to UC Berkeley's campus. This area is a mix of shops, more bookstores, cafes, and actually street vendors. You have Fourth Street, which is a mix of high-end boutiques, home decor, art galleries, and restaurants. You have Shattuck Avenue, which is home to the infamous Gourmet Ghetto. You have Salado Avenue, which is in the northern parts of Berkeley. This area has a charming small town feel. And if you haven't, be sure to grab Zachary's Chicago Pizza, which is a deep dish style and popular chain in the Bay Area. You also have University Avenue, which has a mix of restaurants, grocery stores, and shops. Last but not least, you have Elmwood District. It's known for its historic buildings and tree-lined streets. Here you're gonna find a lot of restaurants and cozier cafes. You can see many people that live in this city may never have to do any grocery shopping with the infinite of options of local cafes and restaurants. Number three, climate. Berkeley enjoys a mild Mediterranean climate with pleasant temperatures throughout the year. The city experiences very mild winters and relatively cool summers, allowing for outdoor activities and a comfortable lifestyle all year round. Now to be fair, most of the Bay Area has it this way, but Berkeley, because of its location closer to the water, is more mild than most. It has an average of 52 degrees in the winter time to a summer temperature of 64 degrees. You're gonna wanna be sure to bring a jacket with you at all times as the temperature drops pretty quickly and cools down in the evening. Number four, proximity. It is next to San Francisco and Oakland. Berkeley is located just across the bay from San Francisco, providing easy access to the cultural and employment opportunities of a major metropolitan area. Residents can commute to San Francisco or Oakland very easily through the public transit of the BART line, by car, or even by the ferry. Now, while Berkeley doesn't have as many jobs as the neighboring large cities, it does still have many key employers. UC Berkeley is the largest employer of the city. This is one of the most prestigious public research universities in the world. Next up is Lawrence Berkeley National Lab. It's known mostly for focusing on advanced energy and environmental studies. The city of Berkeley itself is a significant employer as they have admin staff and different people handling the parks. There is also a large medical center at Alta Bay Summit Medical Center. Last but not least, you have Bayer, which is a huge multinational pharma and life science company. So we went over the pros, but I want you to know about the cons too, if you want to live here. Now, because of all those pros that are brought up and the high income employment opportunities that are nearby, the cost of living is high. There's very limited space here, so because of that, there's very rarely any new developments. The population just doesn't, can't grow as much. To give you an idea, the population of Berkeley only 
increased by 6,000 people in the last 12 years. Now, because of this, people will always be competing for the same pre-owned homes. To give you some ideas, studios start at $300,000, with small single families that are like two bedrooms, one bath, going for 800,000 as a starter, and $3.7 million in the best parts of Berkeley. In addition to this, the homes are generally older, and it's not uncommon for our homes here to be up to 125 years old. So if you want a more modern open layout, that may be a lot harder to find. Number two, traffic congestion. Berkeley is in the northern parts of the Bay Area and because most of the high paying jobs are towards the San Francisco region, the traffic patterns all flow the same. They all go south in the morning and north after work. The main route that people would take would be Highway 580. Now this highway is always packed, even during non-rush hour times because of the design. Take a look at this. Look at Highway 580 and you can see as you go south, it splits into three main highways. It either goes to San Francisco towards the Bay Bridge, towards Highway 880, towards the, the other parts of East, the East Bay, or Highway 580, which may ultimately go out to places like Dublin and Pleasanton. Because of this design and all the exits are right next to each other, you're always gonna have congestion, even without any accidents. Number three, it's politically undiverse. Berkeley is one of the most progressive cities in the entire country. And I put this here as a con because if you wanted a, a balanced political state, this wouldn't be the place to be. People here are very proud of the progressive and activist stance, which is if you're someone that was more moderate or even dare I say Republican, you probably would hate it here. Now, because of the progressive nature, homelessness and panhandling is very visible in many of the shopping strips. The situation isn't as bad as what you see in San Francisco or Oakland, but to say it isn't there wouldn't be really fair either. Just be careful and aware of your surroundings, just like you go to any other place. Next, there are certain point of sale ordinances when it comes time to buy or sell a home that Berkeley has. Berkeley has some of the most requirements when it comes to doing real estate transactions here. First and foremost, there's a city transfer tax that is split between the buyer and the seller, and it's some of the highest in all cities of the Bay Area. To let you know, a home up to $1.8 million in transaction is a $15 per thousand dollar split and anything over 1.8 million has a split of $25 per thousand dollars. In addition, this city, there will be a sidewalk inspection that needs to be done and repaired by either the buyer or the seller as part of the sale. Next, you also have a private sewer lateral inspection that needs to be done. You need to ensure that the sewage pipes doesn't have any issues. Next, you also have this requirement called the BESO energy assessment. You have to comply with building emissions saving ordinances that they have. Now, while there are a few other cities that have these in the Bay Area, this isn't common for the rest of the Bay Area. Now, last but not least, the last con that you need to be aware of, Berkeley is on the Hayward fault line. Now, to be fair, we haven't had any major earthquakes since 1989. If you're terrified of this purely by geography, this is not gonna be the place for you. Consider perhaps maybe the Western parts of Berkeley or look into living in other cities. Now, the main thing is that everybody has different situations. So that's why we ask you to give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email email so that we can schedule a Zoom call, which is our favorite by the way, so that we can talk about you and what's going on with you and your family and then share with you where are the best cities and areas to consider. By having a Zoom strategy call, we can help you save months of time of just your own research. We can find a deal in any market because people ultimately are buying and selling homes every single day in all types of markets. And I'm gonna be here to help you every step of the way. Our job is to help you find the best deal possible in this current market because people are moving all the time for work, opportunities, being close to family, life circumstances, or just for the incredible weather here. For those of you on the fence, I personally would not wait a year or two. I would rather just buy something now, even if it's not my forever home. The reason for that is because you can just live in that for a couple of years, get more familiar with the area, and maybe at that point you can decide to move to another space if that makes sense for you. Is it inconvenient mm. to move a few times? Of course. But if you're renting, you're gonna be doing the same thing anyways. You know for a fact that you may have to be moving in a couple of years. So why not buy a home, build some equity in that home, and then either keep it as a rental, which many of my clients do, or sell it, use those funds, to then help you buy the next one. Take advantage of gaining that appreciation yourself. Then again, no pressure here. We just say reach out, give us a call, because we wanna talk with you and find out about your situation and see what's going to be the best fit for you and your family. And that's all we can ask for. We'll determine together whether it's the right time for you based on everything that we look at, but we want to look at the data, the stats, the budget, price range, and locations, as that's gonna be factoring in to the best cities and locations for you. We hope you found this video helpful. Leave us a comment below if you live in Berkeley or you used to live in Berkeley. What are your favorite things to do? What do you like about Berkeley? What do you not like about Berkeley? But please be nice. 
Don't go crazy if you don't like Berkeley, but tell us in a tactful way in the comments below. I hope other people understand the city and also considering Berkeley as a move to hear from the local residents. And of course, whether you're thinking of moving in nine days or 90 days, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. Happy to help you make that smooth move to the Bay Area. And until then, we hope to show you around.